finish ripping the rest of the interior out of here. I'm going to leave the door panels for now, but I want to get in that radio. <laughs> this is not in there good. <laughs> so that needs to come out and be dealt with. Uh, the radio works with like one speaker. <clears throat> so, and while I've got my seat belts removed, I'm not. Yeah, we're going to have to replace the speakers in this bad boy too. We got some 4 by 10s back in there. And the 4 by 6 is up there. <clears throat> So to get to the radio, boom, remove the ashtray, drop your glove box. You're going to undo one screw here, Phillips screw there, Phillips screw there, and right there, done. <laughs> That'll come off. You'll disconnect the wire off the back of the cigarette lighter, and that panel will come completely off. Right. You should try to label your screws done enough S10s, I'm kind of got a pretty good idea where all the screws go. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean I'll be able to get them back. And that's like not a right screw there. Huh? Big giant silver one popping out of there. Definitely not the right screw. These things can be kind of tricky. There's just two levers on each side. Pull them off, flip it off there. Done. That's a pretty nice one too, actually. Uh, looks like some gunk and stuff, but it's not all beat up or chewed up or cigarette burned or anything. Yeah, so there's the radio. We'll put the screw back in this. So when, unless, now let's just go ahead and pull the, the glove box on out of there. While we're here, pull this ashtray just slightly out of the way, drop the glove box down, pull it up, and there's also a little rubber pad that should be on here too that's missing, but the glove box doors come out fairly easy also. And you've got your surrounds here if you wanted to remove that, um, but I'm really mainly just concerned with the radio, and it looks like all it really needs I could get that is the brackets put back on the sides there's no brackets on the sides and of course some idiot hacked the wires off at one time but then somebody went back and put a harness back on which may be either this is a crappy radio or it could be the speakers too so I'm and it looks like they matched up all the wires we're just gonna have to see But yeah, I need to get the brackets. There's just a bracket that'll either snap on or screw on or something on each side of that radio. I doubt this tape deck works, but it may. We'll see. Move that out of the way. Well, heck, let's go ahead and pull it out of there. I'm sure you guys know how to undo a radio. Antenna plug. I don't know what plug this is, but it's a plug. <laughs> And then we got two or three, three plugs back here. You get the little tab there, squeeze that and pull that one out. Same with the next one, squeeze the tab. It can be difficult. <laughs> there we go. She's out. One more piece of the puzzle. Well, that's the skinny on how to remove a cassette deck or factory radio from a square body Chevy S10. Hope that helped you out. It's not really that difficult of a job. Just, you know, keep track of where you plug your wires in. They only go in one way anyway, but <clears throat> you got this. Keep on trucking.